Hello, everyone, and thank you once again for tuning in to Celebrity and Variety Talk. I'm your host, Josie Latimer, coming to you with breaking, breaking news. Avinati has been found guilty, you guys, and he is facing decades behind federal prison bars. Avinati, remember Avinati, the attorney that was, um, first he was going after Trump, and then he went after R. Kelly, and then they, Nike went after him. You remember that? Avinati, the attorney with the Stormy Daniels case with President Trump, Avinati with the R. Kelly case that was that was the first one to bring R. Kelly uh, down. And then now he's down. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And you know what? When he uh, messed with the president, <laughs> you know when you mess with Trump, <laughs> you got hell on your hands. You know it. Because Avinati had already bribe, I think, not bribe, but he got $300,000 from the Stormy Daniels advancement from her, her case. I think it was from her book. And then he went after Trump. And then he went after R. Kelly. And boy, 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 did he not know that R. Kelly lived in the Trump Towers? That name Trump? <laughs> Whoa. The man is still in jail right now, you guys. He's in jail, and they're saying that he is facing more charges. That means he's going to be in jail just as long as R. Kelly, if not more. Wow, God does not like ugly, and he's not too crazy about pretty. My Lord, my Lord. I just saw that breaking news that Avenatti, the attorney that was trying to... Uh, take um uh stormy daniels case well actually he wasn't trying to he had taken that case against trump and then he turned around because he really really thought he had it going on and went after r kelly but look at all this stuff he was doing you guys you're gonna be doing wrong yourself and then you're going after other people saying that they're wrong i mean you have to be crazy in your mind you have to be crazy in your mind because the red flags are going to pop up. And that's what they did with Avenatti because he had the nerve to be going after other people when he tried to bribe Nike out of money. And I was I was reading um, that he had they had tapes in court showing that he was bribing them. And at that time, they turned it over to the Federal Investigation Department. Wow, he was found guilty today. He's in jail just like R. Kelly. I am just in shock because you guys remember when he was saying, I will be exonerated. I will not. He was talking all that trash. Oh my God, Jesus. Anytime people do wrong, they should shut up and sit down. You guys remember when O.J. Simpson he did something about a book like If I Did It or whatever. And then right after that, he was in a Vegas room and he went with a gun, a weapon to try and redeem his own items. But he should have sit down. But he couldn't do it. And so guess what? He put himself behind bars. Knowing that he had done wrong. Allegedly. My Lord, my Lord. Breaking news, you guys. Breaking news. Just Google it for yourself. The attorney that was trying to take down President Trump with the Stormy Daniels case. He had gotten 300000 off of her. And I don't know. Um, he was thinking, I guess, he was going to get paid off of R. Kelly. And then now he's locked up and spending every dime that he took from Stormy Daniels advancement pay. See, when you do wrong, that stuff is going to come back and bite you in the butt. I don't care who you are. But all of that trash he was talking, you know, I was like, oh, my God, this man is going to take a whole lot of people down. Oh, he's going to take Trump down. Oh, he's going to take R. Kelly down. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, this man. So now, wow. 
He's in jail right now, locked up like R. Kelly behind bars, knowing that he had did wrong. And not only did he bribe uh, Nike, but they have him for other charges that are going to be against him. And they said he could get like 42 years or more or more in prison. His life is over. It's gone. It is gone. He had the nerve to think he was bigger than God to be trying to bring down people when he know, in fact, he was doing wrong himself. He should have just been in the shadow, in the background. He should have been like a mice in the night. Huh. My Lord, my Lord. With that, I have to end this show, you guys. I have to end this show because I really thought he was going to beat the case because when he said, I'm going to be exonerated and I'm this and I'm that and I'm, he was talking all of that stuff. Remember? And I thought, wow, maybe this man has merit to what he's saying. Maybe he will be exonerated. Maybe Nike made a mistake. You know, I don't know whatever happened with the Stormy Daniels case, but I know he had gotten $300. They said advance. That's what they said. Allegedly from some type of advancement pay or whatever, that 300000 is gone. The attorney's going to have it, all of his money, all of his assets, everything that he owned, and I heard he owned a lot. That's over. That's over. Oh, my God. Because everyone was wondering, who is this Avenatti attorney? Where did he come from? And then he just popped up out of nowhere, you know, with someone I had never really heard about. And uh, he made a quick, big, big name for himself when he had the nerve to um, step out in the limelight knowing that he was doing wrong himself. And a big corporation like Nike? Trying to extort Nike? Oh, my God. And trying to bring down President Trump? <laughs> Even the impeachment trial couldn't bring him down. So what? <laughs> Avenatti. Oh, my God. Avenatti was just just like uh, air when it came down to trying to mess with President Trump because he's a tiger. We all know that. So um, he just should have just shut up knowing that he was doing wrong himself. That's all I'm saying. What I'm saying is that, you guys, when people do wrong, how in the hell they think they're going to come up and try to bring somebody else down when they already have been doing wrong themselves. What made Aminati think that President Trump wasn't going to have his investigators to open up his books to see what in the hell was he doing? You messing with the President of the United States of America and you think that his top people are not going to check into your butt and you're trying to do me wrong? You see what I'm saying? R. Kelly didn't think that far. You know, R. Kelly, his education, allegedly, level, mental level was low on his education. So R. Kelly probably didn't think, let me open up the books on Avenatti to see if, in fact, he have any worms or skeletons in his closet. But you know the president did. You know he had top people that was going to open up those books on Avenatti and see what worms he had hanging around in his closet. And it was a wrap after that. So actually, I don't know if that helped or hurt R. Kelly's case. And so we'll see. We will see. But wow, how do you think he feel, you guys? Because, you know, he went after R. Kelly, the last person. I think that case was dropped with Trump, but he went after R. Kelly he was adamant about bringing R. Kelly down as if he was going to be walking around bribing Nike and all these other people. Huh. Now, he's a criminal just like R. Kelly. Mm, mm, mm. You know R. Kelly's in his cell <laughs> turning flips right now, laughing his heart out. And that gives R. Kelly a sense of peace like, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. The man that actually opened up the can of worms on me is going to do just as much or more time than me. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. 
You guys, I just don't understand what's really going on. But all I know is Avenatti has been found guilty. He's in, he's in jail now. They haven't let him out until he get his sentence. But you guys, I wonder what the sentence going to be. Now, they said it could be he can get decades behind bars. But it will be a shocker if they come back and say his sentence is probation. That will be a shocker. But I doubt it. So stay tuned for more and I'll keep you posted. Thank you so much for tuning in and please click like, share and subscribe. Avinati is in jail right now. He was found guilty today for a robbery of Nike. Talk to you later. Bye.